Welcome to Get Cooking in Cloud, where we share the best recipes to apply in your cloud kitchen. I'm Priyanka, and in this episode, we'll share the recipe to plan a warm DR pattern for your applications that are deployed on-premise. So let's dive in. A little recap. In the last episode, we were talking about Main Street Art that runs their applications on premise and are building a DR infrastructure on Google Cloud. And we helped them set up a cold DR plan. But Main Street Art has changed a bit since then. They now need to set up a warm standby DR pattern to keep the RTO and RPO values as small as possible without the effort and expense of a fully HA configuration which means to support a disaster, they need some replication and redundancy built into the system. Well, let's see how this would work. We create a VPC network, then we configure the connectivity between the on-premise network and the Google Cloud network. We replicate the on-premise servers to the compute engine instances, then create snapshots of the web and application server instances. We then create a custom image of the database server on Google Cloud with the same configuration as on-premise. Then we start a database instance in Google Cloud using that custom image and attach a persistent disk to the instance for database and transaction logs. We configure the replication of the database server, set auto-delete flag on the persistent disk to no auto-delete. We do this so that our persistent disk will not be inadvertently deleted since that would be a disaster. Configure a scheduled task to create regular snapshots of the persistent disk of the database instance on Google Cloud. Then test the process of creating instances from the snapshots by creating the web and application server. Also create a script that copies updates to the web application and the application server whenever the corresponding on-premise servers are updated. Write the script to create a snapshot of the updated servers. Then configure Cloud DNS to point to the internet-facing web service on-premise. When a disaster hits, all Main Street Art needs to do is to resize the database server instance to handle the production load. Use the web and application server snapshots to create new web and application server instances, and then test that it all works. Once tested, point the Cloud DNS to their web service on Google Cloud. When the production environment is running on-premise again and can support production workloads, Main Street Art has to reverse the steps that they followed during the failover. A typical sequence to return to the production environment is we take a backup of the database running on Google Cloud, then copy and apply the backup files to the database in the production environment. Then we prevent connections to the application in Google Cloud. One way to do this is to prevent connections to the web server by modifying the firewall rules. From this point, the application will be unavailable until we finish restoring the production environment. Don't forget to copy any transaction log files over to the production environment and apply to the database in that environment. Test that the application works as expected by simulating the user scenarios on the production environment. Configure Cloud DNS to point to the on-premise web service. Then delete the web server and the application server instances that are running in Google Cloud. Resize the database server on Google Cloud back to the minimum instance size that can accept replicated data from the on-premise production database. Then configure replication between on-premise database server and the database server in Google Cloud by following the instructions for your specific database software. Well, there you have it. If you are running your application on-premise and need to keep the RTO and RPO values as small as possible without the expense of a fully HA configuration, then a warm DR pattern is the way to go. We learned how to approach recovering the environment from failure in a warm DR scenario. That's all for today on Get Cooking in Cloud. I'm hoping you are cooking up your own DR strategy. Join us next time where we will share the recipe to implement a hot DR pattern. If you like this video and would like to see more such content, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.